Welcome. You made it. <laughs> we got the new setup, man. This is a very sentimental, this is a very long awaited thing that I have here going on. As y'all can see, new background. Uh, allow me to just move out the way so y'all can be mesmerized by this new background. <laughs> Let me turn up the light. <laughs> See what I'm saying, man? See what I'm saying? Man? These are those type of vibes you just sit around the campfire. You know, you grab your guitar. Just. so warm and toasty over here but yeah man i worked very hard to get this set up going um as many of y'all know already there's a secondary bed here it was my brother's me and my brother pretty much shared a room all our life and um you know i grew up we stayed in a little trailer hurricane katrina hit <laughs> destroy that thing so we ended up building a house and that was when i got my first bed of my own i used to sleep on the floor i had like little tents and stuff i used to uh, you know what i'm saying make little uh, bro i didn't done it all but finally we moved you know into a house and we both got twin beds same bed same sheets same comforter same pillows everything we shared a room and then um whenever you know my parents you know took their you know their separate paths we got a new house you know move with my mom got a new house which is this one right here and we shared a room and my mother was like i always regret it not getting y'all separate rooms you know what i mean y'all growing up and things like that but me and my brother made the most of it you know what i'm saying we didn't complain we always kick it we both get yelled at and then being here laughing at each other and you know what i mean just me and my dog but um you know as i kept getting older my space, my aura, my, um, my uh, territory got bigger, as it should, you know, you're growing. But just not having my own space was very detrimental to my mental health. And I don't mean that in a dramatic way. Like, it wasn't like I was in the But, bro, I was creating content and then. You know, he would come in, play the game, and you know what I'm saying, just being himself. Now, me personally, I'm a very considerate, respectful, and you know, over, overextending type of human being. Even if you're in my space, if you're doing something, I will leave my own space so you can have your own peace and quiet. Unless it's just one of them like, hey, bro, get the hell about it. You know what I mean? So he would come in and just do his normal thing while I would be recording and things like that, and it would be disruptive. I would try to record music sometimes. And, you know, he'd be scrolling on Snapchat full blast and it would be disruptive. And uh, it just got to the point where I'm like, bro, I don't even want to make anything anymore. I don't want to create content. I don't have peace of quiet. I don't have privacy. You know what I mean? But it wasn't it wasn't crazy. You know, I was like I said, I wasn't dramatic about it. And um, I would make content outside. Then it would rain or it'd be too bright. My phone would overheat before I got a camera. You know, it was just so many things that went into me wanting a new space you know what i mean and then i didn't have space to move on side of this room i didn't have space to do things and luckily before even getting the extra bed out of here i got a wide angle lens so i could use more space because with the kit lens i had to put the camera so far back just to capture you know a, you know a, a nice little perspective 
but it was just so many things that went into it and um i got into a relationship and you know during the time that i was in that relationship i seen the opportunity of uh, making my girlfriend at the time i wanted to make her space as comfortable as possible i wanted to make her feel more welcome in her own home if that makes sense so what i would do is leave my home which i didn't have my own space so i never really wanted to invite her over because it was like why would i invite you over here like tell my brother like yo give us 30 minutes and then you can come back in like that's weird so you know she didn't have young she did, she wasn't sharing a room with her younger siblings and we would have made it work and everything but anyways i always went to her for one i didn't want her to drive here it's a pretty long drive about two hours and i also didn't want her driving back on the road at night you know i snuck her in but you know what i'm saying like i just i couldn't fathom that or me having to get up and go to the nine to five and then you know she had to drive i i just didn't like that so took the burden upon myself i went there every time sometimes she met me down the road where my job was at but i spent most of our relationship on the road constantly going to her making her room more nice making her room more cozy you know buying her things and just filling her room you know in her homes with because she was staying somewhere else before and then she moved back in with her family but i felt it was my responsibility to make her um, areas feel more cozy drop some of my energy in there. drop some of my smells in there you know what I'm saying she would have shirts of mine or where I brush up against a pillow and you could smell me and she would like you know keep that stuff so that's what I did and then eventually my brother ended up moving out and um, you know he still had a lot of stuff in here and little by little I collected it and you know put stuff up little by little and you know she actually you know like at the end of the relationship she was kind of upset that I never invited her over and I had explained it to her before. I was like, I, I never had my own space. Like, I literally felt more welcomed in a way in your room than my own. You know what I mean? Like, when we was in your room, it was it was ours. But it's not the same for her. I was like, imagine if you and your little sister shared a room and then I came over and your little sister was on the ground, you know, while we laying down and just talking. And, like, you had to force your sister to get out. Like, that's, that wouldn't have worked. But, you know women are uh, wired differently i have no ill will to the young ladies and you know older ladies out there because you know things are emotional uh, most of the time when it comes to the little ladies and you know whatever they feel that's that's their reality it's no logistics to it so she thought i was trying to hide her or something even though i had her on every social media and talked about her all the time but uh it's just what it is but you know it's been a long time coming I finally got my own space um, I actually wanted to set this up for streaming and just a nice background and extension, you know, to my room. And my mother told me, she was like, uh, how about we break the bed down or whatever? Whenever I get a day off, i break the bed down for you and you can just do whatever you want to it. And I was like, all right. So I waited, never did it. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's no problem because she has her own job. She has her own work. Me personally, I'm not going to tell anybody I'm going to do something and keep pushing it off but i also understand what life is like so eventually i got tired of looking at it and these last few days i had bought some stuff bought the desk went to rooms to go the other day y'all will see that on the blog and priced the desk at 550 dollars and said absolutely not found one on amazon for 140 dollars same thing same uh size and all the good stuff so do i see an ad interrupting my cozy background Hey, y'all don't get free advertising. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you handle that. But um, like I said, I went to rooms to go, price of desk, same size and everything, $550. So yeah, buddy, I'll be back. Never. And um, found one on Amazon, $140, L shaped desk. It's like 62 inches, whatever. It 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 works. Um, but I have a video, I'm gonna post that on my backup channel. Y'all see me like building it and going through the whole process the whole transformation y'all get like the you know the full tour of everything and uh things like that but um i was proud of you know my vision being complete I have my piano over here drums over there i got my bed over there guitars amp l-shaped desk with all my gadgets on it cameras gopro just it's nice man so uh got a new setup Got a new set I'm very proud of. And 
this is going to unlock so many more doors. I have so much more space now. This room finally feels big. Um, it's a pretty nice sized room, but it always felt crowded with the two beds and the dressers. And just all the things taking up the space. But now I have room to get a rug. I want to get a rug. And now I have more room to actually work out, record things. And there's a video I've been wanting to record for a long time, which is how to improve your style, you know, how to get a better fashion stance, better tips and things like that on style and fashion. And with that kit lens, with it being so close up, I would have, like I said, I would have to back my camera so far away and it just didn't look right. But now with the wide angle lens plus the extra space, there's going to be so many more opportunities for videos like me standing up and showing outfits for me working out, just for me doing more, you know, cinematography in here. It's, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am beyond happy. I don't look that happy. You can see it in my eyes or probably in my nose. My nose shines over there, but I'm tired as, you know, but did it man i did it i have built this beautiful setup you know and, uh, not gonna lie it came out better than i expected i'm gonna, get, I'm gonna let y'all get another look at this beauty like bro how can bro, that's beautiful it's literally so beautiful i'm very proud of what i've done here like just just look at me working I look productive, don't I? Oh, that up here. So much, so much productivity going on. Look, look, look. Let's pan. Let's pan here, right? Now, now, now we're over here. Enjoy that Sony low light performance too. By the way. I want something relaxing. See, it's so lovely, man. This whole setup is just, it's lovely, man. It is lovely. Have you ever been, have you ever been to electric lady land? Yeah. But anyways, my people, today was very productive for me. As you can see, the setup is finished. Uh, ooh, just got, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. just got in a new guitar strap. You know what I'm saying? More leopard print. Oh, I, hey, bro, this might be a new headband. Yeah. only right right it's just lovely man I don't know sometimes I'll be getting lost in my own self I also have this one here, as you can see, matches the um, the bedding, you know. Well, the bedding matches this, but uh, yeah, bro. I'm gonna, look, man. I got a guitar collection video coming up for y'all. A little history behind the guitars I chose, um, you know. Just a little tutorial type of thing. Tutorial, tour, collection, whatever. But um, my baby is currently at the shop right now. I had to get a 
set up and things like that. So whenever the red strat comes back, her name is uh, I'll save that for the video. But my baby's in the shop right now. Um, I hope they're not beating up on her. But uh, yeah, guitar collection coming soon. You know what I'm saying? This beautiful tour of this room is gonna be uploaded on my secondary channel. I'm gonna time out these videos to have them posted like around the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and link those. You know, it's gonna be somewhere up here. But you can go ahead and watch it. But uh, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for joining. I always love talking to y'all and I hope, you know what I'm saying? Y'all enjoy hearing from your boy. Cause I'm feeling good, man. And bro, I don't have eyebrows. Oh no. Y'all let me talk that long without having eyebrows. It's dirty. I still love you, man. Y'all take care.